Hey guys, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics here today. Hey, we got something crazy we're doing. We needed to draw some lines on the inside of a rim so that we can airbrush that uh, <clears throat> too much stretch. We got some 24s that dipped, and uh, by the time they got down to five and a half inches, the film, of course, was stretching too much for it, and the pattern distorts. And anyway, anyway, that uh, 21 spokes, I guess they're called, um, dipped real nice. The sides dipped real good, except for the stretch down at the bottom there. And, Anyway, what I wanted to do is just put a couple little detail lines around it about that high up, go around the, the bottom of the rim up about that high in black, and it'll look real nice. But to measure off of that and to tape it all off, I couldn't figure out how to do that. It was just a, anyway, I was trying to compass and all of it, the rims, or the, the ribs kind of get in the way. Um, so what I did, and this is something, uh, I've been using it for a lot of my smaller projects, but I took a rotisserie. Let me show you here. This is a barbecue rotisserie, okay? Let me get the camera down here. Okay, down there. I'm going to show you all the way down, okay? I just got a little base plate out of a scrap piece of aluminum I had. And down here is the rotisserie. And it's spinning around. I've got a pipe right here. It's half inch. Uh, it doesn't matter what you use. And then the regular rotisserie shaft is that square tubing stuff that goes into there. And that's what's going up the inside of it. And the pipe is to keep it from bouncing around a little bit inside there. This is a cheap tripod. You can pick them up at any garage sale. They're usually laying around for five, ten bucks. Um, this is just a real inexpensive one. The wider ones, the better for heavier objects. I also set this up for two compartments here. And the reason being, when I was drying up and spraying my stuff, I would actually turn. Let me get you back up here on this one. Get you back right there. I could actually put my objects in these little dowels here slide that in, flip the switch on there, and these would rotate as they would rotate around this thing, okay? So that was the whole intention to get, uh, just to have the product spinning while it was rotating. So you can see there's two compartments there. But what we're doing today is we're going to draw some lines on these rims. So let me get the rim on top there. Oh, God, they're heavy. Just center it on top of the Rotisserie, and you can see it's rot rotating around nicely, but you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but down at the bottom here, there's where the stretch is. It's starting to fade it out. I got good coverage about up to here. Okay, it started stretching about right into this area right here, and it just got worse and worse. So this area and this area, let's see what you can see over there. This area here and this area here are going to be painted black, and then I'll just go ahead and clear the whole thing. So, in getting a nice straight line around that, what I come up with again was the, uh, the bugler. This is the, uh, the Bugler Striper. I've got black paint inside this, and I showed a previous video on how to put it together and fill it and all that. You guys can take a look at that. Uh, subscribe to my channel, and you'll get them all up there, and you can take a look at them. Put a little tape on the ends here, and that's to keep it from marring up your surface, of course. Um, but let me show you. What I do is I want to start off at the same spot, so I'm using the, uh, the air fill, or the uh, tire what are those things called? Um, yeah, that thing. Starting point. So I'll get it kind of where I want it, how, it, how it's going to ride in there. Kind of get ready for it. And as soon as I get to that, I'm going to touch it. And all I'm doing is hold it in one place. I'm trying to keep as locked in as I possibly can. Nothing's perfect in these Chinese rims, so you just kind of go with the flow. There we go. And there's my line all the way around it. So now I can tape from this part here up and spray this down here and then pull my tape and paper and all that. You see how I made a nice little line? Nice and symmetrical. Anyway, just another feature of the Bugler. You've got a little toy here to play around with if you've got objects in your shop that you need a little rotating on. I'm a one-man show here pretty much most of the time and uh, this just works out real nice for me. Anyway, this is Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics. Uh, like I said, subscribe to my page uh, if you like what you see. 
You can always go to thccoatings.com. Uh, we've got a lot of things up for sale there. We've got Super Chrome, uh, candy colors. We've got 17 candies uh, in stock. Um, we've got uh, the Tsunami Constrictor, of course, is available. And uh, a few other things, heated mats for underneath your tanks if you guys are designing your own. Anyway, take a look at it, check it out, and uh, like us on, uh, on the page there, and we'd appreciate it. David Tsunami Hydrographics, we're out.